Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Monday and Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag if you're like me. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. I've been seeing Prada art bag a lot recently and naturally became intrigued about it. I love learning about the bags and that's why I've got my hands on this little beauty, tested it for a few weeks and today I'm ready to deliver a full detailed review about Prada Arc bag in the cognac color and the regular size. I'm going to show you some mochos, how the bag looks on me and also what fits test. At the moment bag comes in the three different sizes, large, regular and the mini and being a Baby bag lady, I'm quite surprised that I'm reviewing a regular size. There is also a version with the front flap and the longer shoulder strap. And the moment bag comes in the three different colors as well. And here we've got a beautiful tan cognac color. I love this color for its versatility and how it's basically perfect for any season. There are also a black and the white cream versions of the bag as well. I believe Prada called the bag arc due to the shape, this beautiful crescent shape of the bag. And some people believe that arc bag is a curvy sibling of Prada Clio bag and Prada's attempt in quite luxury, low key bag. To be honest with you, me personally, I don't think that would hit as a low key or the quite luxury category but we will count it as a Prada attempt in quite luxury. And now let's have a look at the back itself. We will start with the golden hardware everywhere, starting from the Prada plaque over here on the front of the bag and then also on the zipper and the fixtures on the shoulder straps and the little buttons to adjust the shoulder strap as well. The gold hardware is really shiny, sparkly, and it's kind of like a pale, I would say champagne color of the gold. If we started talking about the fixtures, the adjustable fixtures for a shoulder strap, let's have a look into them. We have uh, three adjustable holes so you can adjust the shoulder strap to your liking at the moment it's on the middle setting. And I'm going to demonstrate that, how it's sitting on my shoulder over there, really comfortable. And I like how this shoulder strap is getting a little bit tiny wider onto the front, front, the middle part of the shoulder strap, which allows the bag to sit really comfortably on your shoulder and prevent bag from going down every single time. I hate that guys, when you're on the go and wearing a shoulder bag and you need to do that, pull it up, pull it up all the time. Oh my God, that's probably the, the one of the deal breakers for the bag for me personally. If the shoulder, if I'm wearing the bag on my shoulder, that needs to sit there really tight. Bag does not have any feet, as you can see here, but it has a continuous leather strap coming out from the shoulder strap all the way down to there. And because the bag is made of the smooth calfskin leather, it allows the bag keep the shape, this beautiful curvy shape, this crescent shape, and it doesn't go slouchy anywhere. Since we start talking about the leather the bag is made of, on the Prada website is just described as a leather. I'm not joking. I even checked out for different sizes and different shapes of the bag and it's just a, just a leather. But from my experience, I would describe this as a smooth buttery a calfskin leather. Unfortunately, this type of leather is really prone to any scratches, marks and stains. So I would totally recommend to be really careful. And because it's a, this particular one in the cognac color, it was going to be visible really quickly. One of those bags that you need to look after and take care of. Oh, actually, since we're talking about the leather, I forgot that the ARC bag also comes in the nylon version with a leather trimming like this strap continuous strap is made of leather but the main body of the bag is made of the nylon obviously in this case it's a more carefree bag in this regard let's have a look inside as i mentioned we have a beautiful golden zipper here with a prada engraving on the actual zipper and this tag is made of the same leather as the bag and inside we have a 
Napa leather interior and that gold embossing Prada made in Italy and nice pocket as well. It's not big enough to put your large iPhone 16 centimeters long but would be perfect as a card slot for a tiny little card holder or just it's a bit too loose to keep the cards there by itself but for the card holder I think that would be the perfect space and apart from that and as I usually say it's a one big hole. It's the Napa leather comes in the black color here and it's really smooth guys it's like when i touched it inside it's actually even smoother than the main part of the exterior of the bag due to the very soft nature of the napa leather i've heard a lot of complaints about the actual stitching inside between the main part of the bag the exterior of the bag and the interior it comes wavy bumpy inside so it's not as smooth. The Prada experts explain themselves because of the you know the really soft nature of this Napa leather from interior and the harder nature of the smooth calfskin leather it's really hard and the shape of the bag as well this curvy shape at the bottom it's really hard to put the both pieces of leather together and therefore the kind of like recommend to expect some bumpy and wavy lining inside so it's not going to be perfectly flat and smooth inside. For this particular bag I wouldn't say that it's like you can see much there it's only one tiny bump and I probably even if I didn't see the complaints on the internet in relation to the interior of the bag being wavy I would probably wouldn't mention that because as I said the bag is so nice smoothed and soft inside. Also lots of people online saying that despite the sm small size of the ARC bag its capacity is actually really really good. As always we're going to check that in the what fits test and I can tell you what I think about the capacity of the bag. At the moment I can say that because it's a one big hole inside we don't have many pockets or the compartments inside it looks promising it does look promising I'm not going to lie but at the same time yes the bag is the regular size but it's kind of like on the smaller mini side of the bag and I would actually would be really interested to have a look into the Prada mini arc bag how much smaller it is that would be really interesting to see. The next thing that I'm going to mention about this beautiful Prada arc bag is adjustable and removable strap. Who doesn't like adjustable and removable strap? No it's not me 100% it's one of those things that are deal breakers when I look into the bag for me. We have a, a beautiful high quality strap here and the matching hardware gold hardware on the hoops and also on the buckle over here with a Prada engraving on the buckle. We have a five adjustable holes which allows you to adjust the bag and the length of the strap to your liking. I would say the five five adjustable holes is quite genetic and loads of bags are repeating that but at the same time it's quite generous and it gives you a lot of options how you like your bag and the length of the bag. It's also really good that the adjustable strap has so many holes because this shoulder strap when you wear the bag crossbody is not going anywhere. So for example when we're wearing the my Aphrodite Gucci bag crossbody will remove the shoulder strap and we can create the continuous the shoulder strap here in this case we're just adding on the shoulder strap. The fixtures I wouldn't call them stiff but I just think that the, those hoops a little bit too big for those key rings. I would probably prefer either key D rings being larger or this hoops to be smaller. I kind of like feel like they are missized and that creates like additional obstacles about the getting the strap on the shoulder strap itself. So that's what it looks like. 
And what I mean that the shoulder strap is on its way, you're going to see that also in the mod shot section of this video, that it's kind of like a, on its way around your waist and the chest area. It's easy to resolve by adjusting the strap and making it a little bit longer. But at the same time, by having both straps on, your crossbody strap and the shoulder strap, you can go from your shoulder bag situation to the crossbody situation really quickly. With this one, unfortunately, it's not the case. If we are started talking about the Gucci Aphrodite bag here in the small size, I genuinely believe that the functionality and versatility of the bag is quite similar, starting from this shoulder bag situation and strap situation, crossbody strap situation, and same functionality for the Gucci Aphrodite bag. Shape is pretty similar as well. That's a crescent curvy shape. It's a little bit more curvy for the Prada Arc bag. Hmm, that makes me thinking, maybe I should do the comparison between the Prada Arc bag and the Aphrodite, Gucci Aphrodite shoulder bag in the small size. What do you think? And now it's time to move on to what fits test to check the capacity for the Prada Arc bag in the regular size. Using my regular combo of essentials, we're going to test the capacity of Prada Arc bag in the regular size. We are going to open the zipper closure here. Although that the quality of the zipper is really good and I can see that the stitchings are up practically immaculate here, you can open the zipper. It's a little bit on the stiffer side. You can open it using just a one hand. So you need to use a both hands for that. Just keep that in mind. And we are going with the number one essential for me. It's my iPhone Max Pro and it's a 16 centimeters long. Then we are going with uh, some chunky card holder. That one is from Chanel. Then we are going with a smaller card holder, just a regular one. This one from Saint Laurent. And I promised you to test the back pocket on the, of the interior and it can easily go in there as you can see. Then we're going for the notebook. Perfect. Just a little bit of organizing there. Then earpods going on the side. Then a lip balm going on the side as well. Then the chunky keys here. Opa. And the lipstick as well. And I think we have a lot of space even for the little perfume too all goes inside and let's try to close that. Voila, that's it. You can see how much we stuff in there and the bag is not bulking out much and it's definitely not bulking down over here. As I mentioned, that leather strap continuous leather strap is just the holding the shape perfectly. I would say it's a great capacity for the, such a small size of the bag and it's definitely much, much better than the Prado Clear capacity. In the mod shot section of this video, I'm going to show you how a Prada Arc bag in the regular size looks on me. I'm 5'3", 163 centimeters tall and I usually wear size 10 UK. We will start with a crossbody situation. Removable and adjustable strap allows us to do that. We have a 360 rotation on the hoops on the strap as well. I love this idea and I love this when it's a 360 rotation because it allows the bag when you wear that crossbody to sit more comfortably around your body as well. You can use the longer strap as a shoulder strap as well and wear the bag on the right or a left shoulder. You can fully remove the strap or leave it hanging like this and use the shoulder strap to wear that on the right or a left shoulder in your hands or on the crook of your arm. I 
at the end, I really want to say that I like Prada Arc bag. I love this crescent curvy shape. I love how it's been called a curvy sibling of the Prada bag. I love that it is sitting so comfortably on the shoulder when you wear that as a shoulder bag. I love the idea that it has a removable and adjustable strap which allows you to wear the bag cross body. I love the idea that the capacity is pretty generous, especially comparing to the Prada Clio bag. The only thing that I would probably complain, and it's a smooth calfskin leather, which is really prone to any scratches and the stains and the marks. So in this case, if you want to keep the bag in the pristine condition, you need to be really careful what you're doing and, you know, avoid any sharp objects around the bag. But, you know, we have so many bags now on the market when we really need to be careful about the leather. So I would say it's a rather minor complaint about the Prada Arc bag. And that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where to find thumbs up, subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye!